Olympic lift. Mm -hmm. So anyways, we have this copycat industry now that is tied up into uh, the Olympic quick lift because the inference, as you said, is if you train fast, you'll be fast. So in other words, if you throw weights using momentum in the weight room, you will be more powerful and explosive out on the field. There's a couple things wrong with that. First of all, it's extremely, extremely dangerous. Uh, four years ago in the British um, Journal of Sports Medicine, there was a um, uh, research article published, and what the researcher did is he took a look at all the sports around the world, and what he wanted to find out was what sport was the most injury-producing sport in all the world. And he did this per capita. And uh, what he found out was the top, most dangerous sport in all the world, world per capita was, in fact, Olympic weightlifting. Number two was powerlifting, and number three was American football. Now, think about this, Jay. If, if those are the top three and how we're trying to train American football players now is through Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting, and then you're in a very dangerous sport, is it any wonder that we have um, unbelievable injury rates in American football today? Wow. They're extremely, extremely dangerous lifts. Uh, they're uh, the biomechanical loading that goes uh, with um, the Olympic quick lifts uh, tear up your joints. Um, they are highly technical lifts, so you have to spend a lot of time teaching them how to do this correctly. Um, and if there is a breakdown in technique you're going to have injuries. Um, one of the things I've always tried to follow in my career uh, is the third tenant of the uh, Hippocratic Oath, and that tenant is primum non nucri, which simply means first do no harm. So what that translates into in the weight room is if you know a lift is inherently dangerous, you don't do it. It's as simple as that. Or you find some, a substitute that is much safer to do.